Hey there guys, this is Tabor Valentor, and as you can hear from my voice, I'm still feeling pretty sick. I am sorry about my voice being garbage, but uh, but hey, I just want to play some freaking Minecraft. I'm, I'm homesick from school, and it's pretty bad. I've been sleeping for most of today and most of yesterday, and uh, <coughs> I still have quite a bit of a cough, and, mm, and I can I can like feel like the weight of my eyeballs in my head, and I feel like that's not how it's supposed to work, and I'm just, oh man, uh... But hey, yeah, we're back here at our old base, and uh, I'm gonna take on a little adventure into the past. Uh, into the past. I was just gonna say, I, we, we're probably never going back to the, our starting house there. Yeah, so uh, I lied. Uh, we're back. We, we are back. I just wanted to come grab some more stuff. Yeah, it wasn't too bad of a, of a journey. Like, probably just 10 minutes or something. Uh, but I just wanted to grab. Basically as much stuff as I could carry. Some of this is obviously like not that important to have. Like uh, I'll grab the bucket though. I'll grab a flint and steel. Um, and yeah, I just I dropped everything off over at the uh, new base. You don't need that. Um, I'm probably gonna take some of these furnaces and chests with me. Um, yeah, but I I did drop everything off over at the new base. Uh, wow, I'm getting so easily distracted by this spider. It's the headache. I can tell you. Um, and yep, I just set up a chest over there, plopped everything in it, uh, and now we're back here just to grab a couple more things. I'm gonna grab some zombie flesh because I'm kind of using that as food right now. Sure, I'll grab these signs. I'll grab another stack of bones. Uh, anything. That might be even a little bit useful. I have plenty of inventory space to carry some of this stuff back with me. And then I mainly came back for some cobblestone, actually, because what I want to do today is uh, is to start building a bit of a base uh, over there. And I'm thinking, you know, I have, I have plenty of time. Like, I keep saying I'm homesick. I might as well just build a little bit of castle, you know, you know, uh, big old, big old castle. So that's why, I, that's the main reason I came back, actually, was just for a bunch of cobblestone. And with that... We're gonna we're gonna start heading back. Uh, oh. And we're back. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, so this is our this is our base. So it's, uh, it's pretty humble, as you can see. Uh, we're gonna have to make ourselves some more chests. I should have just grabbed one of the ones from the base, one of the double chests. Um, but this is fine. This is fine. We'll just we, just for now. Uh, we can place all our cobble in here or whatever. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start building a, a castle, and I'll stop in just just tell you guys what's up every once in a while, just make sure you kind of know what's going through my head. And a boop. Oh, thank you, three wool. Thank you. You're gonna be my bed. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I took out basically all of the trees, just like that were kind of higher up, you know, uh, sitting on top of the land. And then I brought some of the dirt down and some of it up, like this entire area I filled in just by a block. And I, I ripped this down by two or two or three blocks here just to make this big, nice, flat space. I think that this is the level we are going to be building on. Um, I am a little worried that it might be too small, this, this amount of space we have. I like that it's not like a perfect rectangle or anything. Like, I could terraform this to be a perfect rectangle, but that would be lame. Um... No, I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna try to build kind of with the shape of the land, so we'll, we can have, like, you know, we have kind of, like, a big, nice, long space here, and then another little area over here we can also work with. Uh, if we wanted to, we could bring it the whole way around. We could, we could do something with all of this space going off that way as well. Um, but right now we have that area to work with, and it's a little small, but I think, I think we can make it work. So I'm gonna start outlining the, uh, the shape of the castle. Okay, okay, so, <clears throat> I went ahead, I put up some towers, just four towers, as you can see, uh, with the shape of the hill we're on and everything, it's looking like it's gonna be a, pretty much a long rectangle, I didn't want it to be a rectangle, but this little space over here is really not big enough to do anything with, so I think it's just gonna end up being a rectangle, uh, we did each of these things going off of our flat space, but, but, uh, but just a little bit. Uh, none of them like go the whole way down to the ground. Like this one, this one goes the farthest down, and it just goes down to right here. So it goes down like four blocks um, farther than some of the others. Um, but generally speaking, we just have a very simple, very, oh, very long rectangle. I don't know about the width of these towers; they might be too wide. 
um, but they're pretty thin as it is, uh, so I guess I guess we'll see. Also, I went to the, as you can see, we're surrounded by this these dark wood forests. I think those are taiga biomes, but they don't have any snow in them. And I did collect a couple of stacks of spruce wood, uh, just just two really. But yeah, I have tons of wood now. That's absolutely awesome. Like, look at all this. Oh, so good, so good. That's like what for like five and a half stacks, about between all the different types I got. So, uh, we're making some progress. Now I'm gonna set up some walls, and don't worry, like, these look very boring now, they look very ugly. I don't like the look of cobblestone that much, but we're gonna pretty them up, so everything will be cool, everything will be awesome. Also, they're gonna go up a couple of more blocks, probably. I'm not sure quite how high they're gonna go, but we'll figure that out. So I'm trying to get an idea for height here, and I don't know, I think that this looks good for, like, a, a short, like, bunker fortress type of thing. But, but, I mean, if you'll remember, I started out by saying I wanted to build down in the valley, but I changed my mind, now I'm building up on the hill. That's, that's because, like, uh, being a, a bunker fortress and everything, and being down in a valley surrounded by mountains, you know, is kind of like, kind of like saying, you know, I'm, I'm building, like, a defensive base, like, I'm hiding, I'm scared, and, and, you know, I didn't want that. What I wanted instead was to, uh, was to build a base up on a hill overlooking the land, letting out a hearty guffaw and, and being like, land? I own you. I will kill your residents, loot your villages, and and you know, uh, basically wreck the land for everything it's worth. Like that's that's the point of Minecraft, really. Um, so I think I'm gonna build it higher. I think I think we're gonna make this taller. Um, and I'm happy that I'm building up on the mountain instead of down in the valley because we get to look out over the land and everything will just be beautiful. And this I have this broken out because uh, this is gonna be. A window. This is, this, yeah, you'll see, you'll see. How do I get in here? Uh, yeah, so I will, I'll heighten this a bit. Hey there, guys. So I came back <laughs> one more time just to grab the rest of my cobblestone and some chests. And now we have to get back to our base. But I'm thinking, what if we do something a little interesting? What if we try to get back to the, to the castle base uh, via the nether, right? <clears throat> now, the thing is, I don't actually have a bucket with me. So we're going to have to drain water down onto lava, and I just love the small you know, I'm gonna pour it into it like six times. <laughs> uh, so that pretty easy. We're gonna go down there, we're gonna mine that up, we still have a point of steel, and then I have the coordinates uh, of the castle screenshotted, so we're gonna divide those by eight, and we're gonna try pinpointing, um, we're gonna try pinpointing our castle via the nether and we're gonna see if we can do it just just for fun here so i'll get uh i'll get eight or, or ten obsidian rather uh, and i'll grab my flint and steel so that we can traverse the nether and then we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure Alrighty, so uh these i hit t here see these are the coordinates we're aiming for uh, well in the nether uh 27874 i already i just divided our uh the overload coordinates we're aiming for by eight because that is how the nether works uh, we had to run in about the opposite direction of that nether fortress we found. So we're going almost straight away from that. And our goal here is to actually land this, like, in our castle. Like, we want that... We want that... Oh, look, another fortress. That's awesome. We want that portal to spawn, like, literally inside the castle. So we're going to go way up in the sky because we don't want to spawn down in a cave. Um... And yeah, let's let's just see how precise we can get with this. Ooh, I hope I hope this works out. Well, it looks like it looks like this portal might actually be inside this fortress. That would be awesome. Actually, yeah, I just have to go this way a little bit. Oh, wow, it looks like it is right. Up. All right, let's go up. I bet I'm gonna get it exactly like we're gonna be standing in my castle. There was no really good reason to do this. It probably would have been faster to just travel by boat. But hey, this was fun, and we did have to set up another portal eventually. So come on, moment of truth. I believe. Yes. Oh my God, I'm the best. <laughs> oh, GG Minecraft. Hello there. According to my achievements, it's time to farm, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I, uh, I ran out of zombie flesh, actually, and then I ate apples, because I've been doing lots of lumberjacking, as you can see here. 
and uh, and I ran out of apples as well, so I decided to build myself just a big old farm. Now this area right here, this area that's just normal dirt, is the area a block of water can uh, can saturate, right? And it goes out diagonally, uh, four blocks from the water in every direction. So I decided I could just do this. I wanted to do it out in the water just because it was like the only flat space anywhere around my castle. And this is just temporary. I'm going to make a real home later. But uh, I decided I could I could just have this little area floating out here. Or I could use the fact that it's floating out in the ocean and have these water blocks saturate inwards as well. And uh, it even works for like this block here because it gets saturated diagonally from that block, you know, even, even though this isn't water. Uh, so I decided to set it up as such. Okay, all right, look over here. Do you see that big old wall? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And how it's how it's got the little like arches in it here. Let's let's get a closer look. This is just my first little like sort of test. I don't think I'll be sticking with this exactly because right now it's pretty bland. Um But just as a, a first little oof, trying to spice this wall up a bit, give it some more depth. And, uh, and texture, depth and texture, those are the two Minecraft words of the year. Um, I, I did, you know, mix some uh, stone brick in there. We did bump the cobblestone back a bit. I actually de I deconstructed the entire cobblestone wall we had up originally. That was just a guideline, really. Um, and then in each of these, we could put a tall, long window or something. Now, it's good with this design how nothing interesting happens near the bottom because the bottom is at a different height depending on where you are at the wall. And that's even more true as, as we go to the back and the sides and stuff. Um, actually, I messed this up. I just noticed this now. How there are three on that side and two on this side. And this space is a little too big to put one of those in. So I was thinking this could be the door. But that's very off-center. Very off-center indeed. And I'm not sure I want it to be quite that off-center. We could do a big old double door. We could have this even like go up higher than the rest of the wall. It could be pretty neat. Um... Yeah, this is just a first little glimpse of, of kind of what I'm thinking with it. I'll keep working on this, though. I think, I don't, I don't like, this is still too much cobblestone all in one place. We need to break this chunk up with something, and I'll find a new thing to do with this space here. Maybe something more like this. Maybe we got the, we got the tall windows. I want most of the energy here to be vertical. So, like, everything, these big, tall things, you know, the windows with the, with the, I don't know. This was just to make this little bit down here look more interesting. Um, also with the door, I did take out, we had, a, we had another window section here, like another one of these right here. I did take that out, and then I had a door going the whole way from like this to this, right, without these two derpy little just strips, but it, it looked much too big for the rest of the, uh, of the castle. It was like really disproportionate, so I, I shrunk it down a bit and just put these things in. I think these actually look okay just how they are. Um... So I think that was good to shrink the door down because it was it was so dis disproportionately large. And uh, all right, let's wait two seconds. Boop. And uh, what else was I gonna say? But also these windows, I don't like how they come the whole way down to the ground inside. So we're probably gonna end up lowering the floor by one or at least by like half a block. Uh, and this is all gonna we're gonna pretty all this up. It won't look exactly like this, looking at it from the inside. Also, I made us uh, some walls here because I don't like that we have. I don't, I don't like it that these are, uh, we have, we have these two tall, dark logs, like, right next to each other, so we're just gonna, we're going to sandwich in between them some of these, uh, fences. Shoop. Yeah, so from a distance, especially, these fences look pretty good. They just look kind of black, because they're, they're so dark. Oops. I, I don't know how I feel about this. Hmm. It, it makes the whole building look very sinister, I think. Like, I, you'll see that I replaced the fences in that pillar there with the, with the nether fences. But over here, there's still the normal wooden ones, and that looks much softer, much more just kind of chill. Whereas over here, the contrast is just, like, so intense. It makes it look kind of intimidating, kind of kind of evil, and I don't know if I want to look too evil, hmm. I do like it though, it looks good from a distance. If we go up close though, if we go up close, um, we will see that it's it's not all drum gops and, and fairy gumdrops, did I say drum gops? I don't, I don't really know. 
Let's see if it's not all gum drops and, and fairy tales and stuff, though, uh, if we get right up in here. The texture is basically noticeable. Even from this distance, you can't really see the texture on the fences. Maybe you can on these ones over here, actually. Um, but you'll look up at, up at the top. You'll see that they don't actually like connect to the stairs, and it just looks a little bit strange. Other than that, though, I think I like these a lot. And I think that in these windows, instead of putting fences, I'm going to put glass. And, uh, I don't know, it's still a little bland for my liking, but I just can't, I can't think of a good material to put in, inside of here that'll fit with the, well, we, we essentially have gray and black as our theme, gray and very, very dark. Um, I'm tempted to also try a tower where instead of this wood, I replace all of it with the, uh, lighter wood, but I think that that'll just be too... Like, there won't be enough contrast, because it'll be a light gray and then a light brown. And, like, light gray and light brown sounds like the lamest color combination in the world to me. I need some accent, which is what the, the black is right now. It's gray with black accents. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Still testing stuff. Oh, yeah. I've baked bread. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I lost my uh, work pick, so... Came back here, I have I have three diamond pickaxes here, and we're just going to do a bit of enchanting. Um, here it goes. Any second now. So close. So close. Hey, so as you can probably hear, my voice is almost entirely better. I was sick. I'm sorry for uh, actually recording so much while I was sick. I didn't want to do that. But, uh, well, yes, perfect work pick. Flawless. But, hey, I have more pickaxes here, so let's, uh, let's wait a bit longer, try to enchant another one. Uh, yeah, though, I, I was sick. Did he just drop... Do zombies drop eggs now? Why do I have three eggs? I did not have these earlier. I had no idea zombies dropped eggs. As you can see, this this does really good rates. I was only waiting for, oh, probably about 30 minutes to hit level 30 there, so that's, that's going pretty well. But uh, yeah, as you can probably tell, my voice is pretty much all better now. I'm sorry I did record so much while I was sick. That must have been a pain to watch. Um, but castle is coming along nicely, and actually it's cool. It, it doesn't take very long to get from here to the castle and back. Not long at all. And uh, when I actually build a railway through the nether, it'll take even less time. Oof. I'm very excited for the next patch to come out because we're going to be doing lots of cool stuff with that. It looks like the uh, new slime box are really, really great. Lots of stuff introduced in the next patch is, uh, is command block related, and we're obviously not going to be using any of those because this is a survival world. So that's a bit of a bummer, but there are also going to be the... Uh, the new mobs, the little uh, en endermites, I think they're called. They're like little ender silverfish. So I don't know, maybe we can do some cool stuff with those. Um, villager mechanics are going to be different. We can make automatic bread farms and whatnot. Lots of cool stuff we're going to be able to do in the new patch. And uh, it looks like minecart speeds will also be updated a whole lot. So we're probably not going to build any minecart or uh, mine rails or anything until the new update does come out. I'm bumming though, I forgot to bring some more diamonds. I wanted to get myself some silk touch boots. I mean, <laughs> uh, feather falling boots while I was here. But it totally slipped my mind, so maybe I'll come back and do that later. Uh, yeah though, Morgan on the Castle is slow going just because I keep like second guessing myself. And just so you know, right now I have a mob, hostile mob sounds turned off, which is why we can't hear the zombies. But uh, but yeah, I keep like second guessing myself on the castle. It's just taking me a really long time to build. But don't worry guys, I will. <laughs> I'll finish it, I promise. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just enchant these other pickaxes, I guess. I'm really thrilled that we got the efficiency for it breaking three there. Actually, maybe we won't enchant them. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just hang on to these for now. Uh, and I will head back to the other base we can keep working on the castle. Although I might actually not finish it all, like, right up, uh, straight up. I might leave it as kind of an unfinished project that we can come back to because it is taking a very long time and I might want to do some other stuff, uh, while we, while we are, uh, waiting to finish that a little bit. So uh, I'll head back over to the base, and everything everything will be nice and dandy. Hello? Hello? Okay. All right, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. But yeah, 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 I've been doing some a little bit of work here, just a little. Uh, we have our path now going through, going through our, our thing here, but I don't know. I feel like it just, it melds in to the... Uh, to the cobblestone here too easily. I, I'm tempted to trade it out with something or maybe do something like this, but I don't want to go too crazy with the with the stairs in my floor because it'll just start to look cluttered and, and really really quite messy if I if I do too much of this. Um but yeah I'm considering I don't know doing something like like this just to define this this central path. But I, I don't really like how that looks. But yeah I put in some pillars. We have a bit of a ceiling going up there. Uh, and this is where the staircase is going to be. We're going to put doorways in these spaces here. I don't know how many doorways we're going to have going off because we're not actually going to have that many rooms. 
off to either side here and as we can see our our ceiling is just one higher than our doorway our doorway is pretty freaking large uh, and our ceiling's just a little bit bigger than that so i think that that's pretty cool i think that i think i like that ceiling to door height ratio um and this staircase is definitely like none of this is none of this is a final product right here i'm just i'm just messing around making some progress uh and then i'm thinking off on this side this is where we're gonna put like a kitchen uh because all right here's the thing I'm going to have multiple uh, homes in this area, right? Now, now I am a benevolent king, King Terrorontor, you know, uh, with a bit of a, a, a dark side. As you can see here, looking at my looking at my castle, you can see that. Oh man, it's a little, it's a little dark, a little dark. We got some, we got some of the nether brick going on. Like, this is clearly not a a purely good place, right? The thing is, I'm going to have... I'm, I'm not just a king, right? That's what the people think. The people of, of Terrortopia think that, oh, King Terrorantor, he's he's all right, you know? An average Joe who rules the kingdom. Hmm, not quite so much. I'm thinking that... And stay with me on this. I'm also going to be a mad scientist wizard. Nyah! Uh, but I have to keep that a secret from the villagers. So I'm going to put a crazy science lab down beneath this castle when the castle is done. And I'm going to put, I'm thinking a crazy, like, magical, uh, place. Like, where I can, where I can do all sorts of, like, potion making, and that's where my nether stuff will be. And my mob farm, maybe. Uh, off. And that, I'm thinking I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna turn that into a volcano, right? Do some terraforming, make that look really ominous. And that's gonna be a volcano where I'm gonna do all of my crazy magic, and then, uh, my, my science lab, my secret mad scientist's lab that I have to keep hidden from the villagers, uh, that's going to be down beneath the castle, hidden, oh, in, in the catacombs, like, oh, man, it'll be pretty fun, uh, but I just want to tell you, like, right now, that's why I'm, I'm not going to do too much interesting stuff in the castle itself, because I want to save all the magic and technology, Jesus Christ, I want to save all the magic and technology for, uh, for other, other buildings in the area, you know, so in the castle itself, we're just going to put, like, a kitchen and, and a bedroom, and some pretty normal stuff, uh, because everything else, I have plans, I have, I have so many plans for the other stuff, it'll be, uh, it'll be pretty cool in here, really quickly, let's just spin these stairs around, these ones here, so that they won't, uh, connect to these ones, there we go, that's just, mm, concept there, concept, um, yeah, though, so, so in here itself, I'm thinking over here, over here somewhere, we're going to have a kitchen off probably uh, along here. Although I kind of want to divide it. I want to have like this kind of split in half, you know, and like a room on this side and a room on this side. So maybe we'll put like the kitchen over over here and something else over here. Oh, this is kind of tough though because I want to have a second floor to this and I'm thinking I might run out of things to actually build. Uh, and then maybe maybe over here we'll have like servants quarters. That would be pretty easy to build. It's pretty, pretty easy to do something with. So maybe over here we're going to have a kitchen and a storage room, like a safe house. And then over here we'll have servants quarters and then uh, up above when we when we get up this way we can have my bedroom over here. It'll be a very large glorious bedroom. Um and then over here in the top floor, maybe we won't even have a second half to the top floor. Maybe that'll be like a guard tower or or some or maybe nothing at all. And maybe this uh whole castle we can make it not entirely symmetrical because I have to move away from symmetry. I do too much symmetry. But yeah, I just wanted to give you an idea of the progress I've made and what I'm planning on doing with the whole thing. And uh, I'm going to make a little bit more progress here. Maybe get started on the kitchen and the storage room and whatnot. Although we are running a little bit low on cobblestone. I have some stone in these. I just cooked up some more uh, cobblestone to make stone brick because I'm using plenty of stone brick. But uh, if we look at our chests here, we can see no cobblestone here. Half a stack here. There we go. I'll pull that out. Seven cobblestone there. And then a single uh, stone brick there. And this is this is like all of the stone we have left to our name. Just this stuff you see in my inventory right now. So, like, we're running out. We're running out. I'm going to have to go do some mining or something just to uh, just to not entirely run out of stone. So maybe I'll head back to the other base and, and do some mining for a bit just to get some more uh, just to get some more cobblestone, really. Now that I have the end of the chest, though, it'll be really easy to go over there, do, like, a ton of mining and then bring everything back here nice and, and easy peasy. So yeah, maybe I'll go do some of that, but uh, but first I'm gonna make a little bit more progress here. And with this central path, I don't know, I'll, I'll mess around with it because I don't like this very much at all. I'm thinking maybe even I'll raise this up a bit more, like make this uh, make this half slabs that are like, 
up above the ground even more like like right there and you'll walk up kind of kind of above I don't know we'll see we'll see how it all comes together okay okay it's coming along it is coming along so I updated the path a little bit uh, I don't know this I, I think this looks pretty good actually and I like it because mobs can't get onto this also you notice that this is now lit inside and I tried to hide the lighting as best I could uh, so I just have it back back behind these posts and you can see it while you run just these little flashes of torches you can just barely see on the sides um, I also started outlining sort of the service quarters like we run over here and if we look up at the ceiling like that's pretty good I think we have we have the stairs kind of going up into the ceiling and if we wanted to we could even go a bit crazier with the stairs there or whatever like I, I don't know probably not um, maybe Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But yeah, this this leads you back here, and then we have our windows kind of outlined again with a uh, with regularly placed torches, and then we're gonna have our uh, a mirror image of that on this side, and we're probably gonna put the same windows. Like that wall is probably gonna look the same as this one actually, even though I was kind of talking about not doing that. That looks like I might be doing it after all. And let's actually take this opportunity to move our bed because it is nighttime. Uh, because we're going to be building servants' quarters back here. We can't have a bed sitting in the middle of the servants' quarters. I'm no servant. So let's uh, let's go ahead. Let's just move our bed down. New spawn. <laughs> Hooray. Um, boop. And that creeper has got to get the F out of here. Uh, so yeah, our, our walls are probably going to end up being uh, mirror images. I think that creeper is probably dead. Wah! Uh... And yeah, yeah, the way the servants' quarters are going to be set up, it's just going to be probably a couple of rooms, and we're actually going to put villagers back here. One room is going to be here, and that's going to be mirrored on this side, uh, and it's going to be split, right? So as you can see, there, there are uh, five blocks between that wall and this wall I started building. So like, this is going to be the wall of that first servants' room, and it, their room is probably going to be like like that big, maybe, maybe even that big if I'm feeling particularly generous. And that'll be mirrored on this side over here. Uh, so, boop. And here we got a mirror image this. And then we can put uh, probably two more rooms just right here and right here. And maybe maybe we can even squeeze in some more rooms kind of going into the towers a bit or something. Uh, but I don't need that many servants. I'm, I'm a benevolent king. And I, I, don't, I don't... I'm not a huge fan of the whole servitude thing. So, uh... So let's go ahead and I'll just I'll just uh, mirror image this over there and I really do have to go mining pretty soon because I am just about out of this stuff. As we can see, I did turn all of my uh, smooth stone into stone bricks and we're almost out of that. I unfortunately made a ton of stone brick slabs accidentally, which squandered some of our last uh, stone there. And then we have like a stack and a half of cobble and some cobble stairs, and that oop, that's all that is left to our name in terms of stone. So I'm definitely gonna have to go mining. Uh, in just a minute here, right after I right after I finish this up, if I actually have enough blocks to even do that. So uh, when I see you again, it'll probably be to show you all of the sick loot I have obtained. Alrighty, after quite a bit of mining, we have some pretty good loot here. <coughs> uh, we're just gonna go ahead back to the base. We have a ton of cobblestone, which I'm super happy about, and quite a bunch of uh, extra resources that we were able to collect as well. We were running pretty low on coal, so it's good that I was able to get a couple of stacks of that. A couple of stacks of redstone for when I finally get into the redstone aspect of this series, which, trust me, there will be a lot of it when I finally get around to it. Uh, and then a couple of, like, coal and redstone that I accidentally broke with the normal pickaxe instead of the silk touch. But as you can see, our, both of our pickaxes still have a ton of, uh, of durability, even after all of this. And we have enough cobblestone to last us quite a while now. So, let's head back to the base. Let's fortune three all of this up. And silk touch. Boop. And, uh, and then we can get back to building our castle. Hooray! Okay, Mount Nicole. Fortune 3 pickaxe. Uh, hooray! Coal mining time lapse. Uh, that should last us a while. Let's go ahead. Let's turn that into blocks, and, uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll build ourselves a, a smaller mountain of uh, redstone. 
Oh, oh, look at all this coal. I love this. I was running pretty low. I, I was uh, down to just a couple of blocks, I think, here. Well, I guess we can check, can't we? But this is, oh, this is going to work wonders here. Yeah, let's go ahead. Oop, ooh, don't have quite enough for another block there, but 52 more blocks of coal. And I only had, yeah, 21 blocks left. Um, and I have over a stack, so that'll be, that'll be fantastic. Let's go ahead, do the rest of this. And the redstone, yeah! And, oh, look at the redstone! Oh, the redstone! So beautiful. So refreshing. Check it out, though. From that one mining trip, well over a stack of blocks. Oof. Oh, so good, so good. I have, like, three stacks of redstone blocks now. And that just leaves us with the, the lapis and the diamond, which actually, we, we have so little, I can I can do it pretty quick here without even time-lapsing. Just, oh, gonna pop all that down, and oh, look, the diamond is gonna go all over. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And... Pa, 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 pa. Getting all that lovely blue. Oh, so much blue. Num, 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 num. And... Nice! 31 diamonds and about two and a half stacks of lapis. So, pretty successful mining trip, not to mention all the cobblestone, which is the real reason we went. Like, all of this, all of this shiny stuff was nice, but really, really, I went for the cobblestone. So it was, it was a very successful mining trip. Very successful indeed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to wrap up the episode. Uh, sorry for the sound balancing issues throughout. I was just talking a little bit more quietly than uh, than usual for the first half there while I was still sick. Uh, you may have also noticed quite a big jump in the progress on the castle. I did lose the audio in some footage, so I just took it out because uh, the episode was running pretty long anyways. Uh, but hey, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Terrorantor is out of here.